Today we are going to go over all the different options and settings here on your washing machine panel. So let's just get started by how to turn the washing machine on. So I have a button here that turns it directly on. This has an auto shut off option here. This is very energy saving for the washing machine. So once you're done with the wash, it will turn off automatically. If you don't have one of these, you will need to do it manually. So this works the same way to turn it back off as you can see. So let's just get it back on here. Right, so let's start with a panel over here on the side. You can see we have a bunch of options over here. The first one that you will see is the temperature. This is going to adjust the temperature inside the drum of your washer during the cycles. Generally, you will find that different clothes can handle different temperatures. So let's put this at 30 here. Beneath this, we have the spin speed on during the spin cycles, which is at the end of the washing machine program. So this is to spin the clothes. It spins it super fast to wick out a lot of the water that is uh, retained in the clothes during the wash. Different clothes can handle different speeds. The lower speed you have, of course, the less effective it's going to be though it will preserve the clothes. Uh, below here we have a button called My Favorite. So uh, this you can pre-program a washing machine to put in favorite settings. If you have something specific that you like to put on. My washing machine in particular have this thing called a time manager. So it pretty much just cut down on the length of the cycles here. It is really nice if you don't need to really, really wash it for a long time. Some washing machines also have something called soil levels. Um, this is similar in that there are generally three soil levels, so you have low soil, medium soil and heavily soil. This will also increase the strength of the wash, you know, uh, it will spin faster with a heavier soil, higher temperatures, more agitation, it will also last longer. Uh, yeah, that is something that you can uh, check out a video I did about up here if you want to see that. Moving on here to the other side of the panel, you can see here we have the start button. So this is going to start the entire cycle if you press this. You can also press this to temporarily stop the cycle should there be a need for you to stop it. And moving on up here, we can see we have four different options here. We have the pre-wash, click that, that's going to add an extra little cycle at the start of your program. Now this is nice if you have a lot of stains. You can also use the pre-wash compartment in your washing machine to add extra detergent should you so uh, please during the cycle. This is often used to treat stains, but you don't need to add anything to the pre-wash compartment if you don't want to. It runs fine without it as well. Turn that back off. So we also have the delay start. Now this is going to delay what time your washing machine will start. So if you put it at the two hour delay, and you set everything up, press start, the washing machine won't start running the cycle until two hours later. Always remember you should be present while your washing machine is running, don't leave the house. It's a really nifty setting to have. Uh, here we have easy iron. This is a process that is made to, essentially your drum will do a few different actions to prevent creasing during the end of the program. Usually it will spin slower towards the very end. Also it may change this, uh, the direction that the drum is spinning towards the end. It's nice to have. It's not one that I use often personally. And then we have the extra rinse there next to that. Now the extra rinse is pretty cool in that it will actually uh, put an extra rinse cycle at the end of your cycle. So if you use a lot of detergent, for example, if you have really soiled clothes, you can press extra rinse and it's gonna pop an extra rinse towards the end of the cycle. Now, this is uh, not the same as the pre-wash that's going to go at the start of the cycle. Extra rinse, very end. So let's turn that back off. And we also have something called child lock here. So this varies a little how you activate it from washing machine to washing machine. Uh, on this particular one, we need to press pre-wash and easy iron at the same time for three seconds. And here we go, there you can see that symbol indicates that the child lock or key lock here is on. Now you can't really press any of the buttons, nothing works anymore. So if you want to use this, make sure you start the cycle before you turn it on. To turn it off, just press in the same buttons for three seconds, like that. Beyond that, we also have some settings here. You can see how eco-friendly your washing machine is. For example, this is cottons, cotton eco, more eco-friendly. <laughs> You also have some indications here on uh, the water levels, um, whether it's spinning. Uh, also, you can often see how much clothes you can put in maximum here, depending on the cycle. For example, on my hand wash cycle, I can put as many clothes as my cotton cycle. That will also be displayed here on this panel. Uh, one more thing, if you start the cycle now, you will see that another symbol here shows up. That is a key. Now this is going to lock the drum. Now you can't open this until the wash is done. So let's just turn that off. 
All right, so moving on to the various different uh, programs here. This is pretty cool. So now we've gone all over all the different settings here on this side, right? So the programs are going to automatically program this on their own. You can see if we put it on cotton here, it's going to default to 60 degrees Celsius and 1600 RPM uh, spin speed. Uh, if we change that over to Cotton Eco, you will see that it still stays the same, but the time period for which the washing machine uses is longer. That is because it uses longer time to heat up the water to be eco-friendly. Now, Cotton is a cycle that you generally only want to use on Cotton. It's a pretty rough cycle compared to some of the other ones, like uh, your the next one on the list here is called Synthetics. You see this one is turned down to 1240 degrees Celsius. Um, we have a lot of these cycles. You should really get into this. I have made videos on pretty much all of them <laughs> at this point. So if you want to check that out on my channel, you can. For example, if we check out the delicate cycle here, you can see that this is a lot shorter and it uses also long spin cycles and temperature. Uh, I would wager that you could turn this down even further. See, now we reduced spin here and we can also click to reduce the temperature. Now, if we start the washing machine now, it's going to start with these cycles. But if we do change these back and forward, you can see it goes back to the default. So the last thing you have input is the one that is going to be active when you start the cycle. Same go if you have uh, soil levels on your washer. If you adjust those at the end, it's going to adjust everything towards that soil level as well. Moving on here, we have wool slash hand wash. These are very similar. Often these are split up into two, but generally this is for your most delicate garments. So while the delicate cycle would maybe be for your um, just general delicates, like you know, your silks, some of your weaker synthetics like nylon, the wool slash hand wash cycle would be for your most delicate clothes. So that would be well, wool for one, and also your, think your uh, little flimsy underwear, maybe ones with uh, embroideries or uh, just very weak garments. They can't handle much, so the cycle is very, very gentle. I would wager that you can even make it more gentle by turning it down a little bit. Moving on here, we have a bunch of different ones. So rinse, for example, that is just going to do a quick rinse on your clothes. Um, it's going to wash out the water. Many washers have something called soak as well. Sadly mine don't, but that is essentially a cycle where the washer will fill up with water and you can soak your clothes in it. For example, if you have really stained clothes, you can add a little bit of stain remover to the soak cycle and it will fill the drum up for usually about 45 minutes to an hour. For more delicate garments, you don't want to soak them for too long, maybe 20 minutes maximum. You can probably see that this is pretty similar to pre-wash. Uh, in that it is to kind of pre-treat the clothes before you move on to a regular cycle. So maybe after you have done the soak, you will move on to a cotton cycle or something else. So next we have spin slash drain. This is just going to uh, clean out your washing machine for, from water, remove all the excess water, spin it dry. You also usually have some heavy duty cycle. Now that will be for your more heavy clothes. You know, your towels, your maybe your sheets, thick sheets, workwear, uh, really soiled garments. You can use these uh, cycles for it. Generally, you want to use high temperature, high spin speed, and this is going to be a long cycle compared to some of the other ones. And we also have something called uh, quick wash here. On mine is called 14 minutes. Now this is just a fast wash. For example, if you have some regular clothes that is lightly soiled, Pop it on quick wash and it will be done in no time. Also, these short cycles and generally the ones with the lower water temperature will be a lot more eco-friendly than some of your other ones like, uh, you know, your heavy duty cycle where the water is super hot and uh, it takes forever to wash. You will also find that there are some steam cycles on your washing machine. So instead of using water, it will generally steam instead. Uh, I generally don't use this, but uh, it is an option if you want to use it. Also, if you want to use something like a tub clean setting, mine don't have that. So what I generally will do is just put it on cotton and then we can turn the temperature up very hot and add some uh, cleaning products to the, either the drum or to the tray here itself. So wash, that's going to be the regular tray, by the way. If you add that here and then we start this, it's going to clean the washing machine. Tub clean is essentially just a very hot setting that aims to clean out, you know, the insides and tub of your uh, washer. Beyond this, we also have one tray here, and this is called 
fabric softener tray. The idea here is that these three trays are split up so that they don't mix together. For example, the pre-wash is never going to be in the drum at the same time as the wash, and the wash is never going to be released inside to the tub at the same time as the fabric softener, because these don't mix. Like they, Some of them can cancel each other out, uh, some of them just don't uh, work well together. So for example, if you want to mix together let's say baking soda and vinegar, this is like a famous one that can't mix. You can add the baking soda, for example, to the wash tray and then add the vinegar to the, the fabric softener tray here and they will never mix together. That way you can get an effective wash without having them mix together inside the actual drum itself. So like I mentioned, I've done a bunch of videos on this in the past. There are many, many nuances to this, but I think this should give you a really nice uh, overview for how your wash works. Of course, there are many more settings as well. I've probably made videos on all of them. So I'm gonna add a playlist here that you can check out uh, to learn more about the various washing cycles. Also, I've done a really cool video here that you can check out about my favorite laundry detergent. It's really easy. If you're new to washing clothes, picking up one of those detergents is gonna make it a whole lot easier. It pre-measures it. Uh, it's pretty good detergent, just overall juice. So yeah, you can check that out as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, this is me, I'm Thor. <laughs> See you in the next one.